What? That's a W? Up, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyler with TarverAcademy.com and today we're gonna to be learning about how to make good, strong passwords, okay? So let's get started. If you could, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would super appreciate it. Link is, you know, around it. It's like the red, you know how to subscribe. It's 2019. So uh, today we're talking about making good, strong passwords. It's extremely important for you to retain ownership and privacy within your stuff if you make very good passwords, okay? So within the Google world, Google world, um, everything's connected to your Gmail account. So it's very important that your Gmail account is, is unique and it is also extremely um, non-guessable, if you will. So um, for instance, you never wanna use the word password in there. You don't ever want to put your birthday or anniversary or something with regards to your name or your kids' names. People know that stuff's easy to remember and you're thinking, well, well, I put my kids' passwords and then their age because that's easy for me to remember. It's also easy for people to guess it, okay? So you need a unique, something unique. What I always recommend is find something, because you do want something you can remember but you want something that other people wouldn't know or be able to like search the internet for uh, information about you. So what I like to do is I like to search the um, search the internet, search my brain internet. I search my memories for something that is always stuck with me, like a pet you had when you were a kid, um, or if you you know had a friend that you don't see a lot, you don't see anymore, or, or um, a place you live, something that's very obscure that like most people wouldn't know except for like your parents or your spouse or whatever. Um, you want to find something unique that you remember but you don't talk about or put on the internet about or is not connected to you. Um, find that word, okay? And within that word, um, you're obviously gonna have some capitalizations. Everybody knows like the capitalizations usually at the beginning. Capital, you know, B, and then lowercase I-L-L-Y, that's Billy. That's how most of them are spelled. You know what you could do? You could just be lowercase B-I and then capital L-L, lowercase Y. Mixing it up like that makes it a little more complicated, but after you do it a few times, you're gonna remember it, okay? And then you always need to add in some numbers or characters, okay? Different websites have different requirements for this. Um, and so that's where it gets complicated for me as a human being to remember all of my 4,000 passwords. And, um, and like a lot of people are like, well, you just write them in a spreadsheet and you know, put it in your desk. Well, and somebody goes in your house, they can sign into all your accounts. Um, put it in a spreadsheet and put it in Google Drive. Yeah, it's great, but then if they find out your password for your Gmail, they can go into Google Drive and find passwords for everything. Now. Granted, most people go into Google Chrome, sign in with their Gmail, and then it remembers all their passwords. Okay, so you're thinking, well, that's great. It remembers all my passwords. There is a thing that you will see on there, and some people love it, some people hate it, because it's an extra step for them to get into their accounts. It's called two-factor authentication. Um, so what that means is not only will you have to do that, like sign in your password, it takes you to another screen where it's like, what's your mother's maiden name? Or what was your uh, first pet's name? And it's gonna ask you a specific question that you gave them when you first signed up. Um, you know, you don't want this to be obvious, like if your mom still goes by her maiden name, that's a pretty easy one to guess. Um, if you still have that dog and you post about it on Instagram every 20 minutes, another easy one to guess. So you want something to where, pick those questions based on stuff that other people wouldn't know from like looking at your social media um, or just knowing you in real life because then your friends can sign into your accounts as well. So, so um, it's, uh, it's good to have characters, good to have underscores if they'll allow it, um, uppercase, lowercase, mix that up, throw in a number. Um, a little fun fact, this is a little trick I do. Um, I do it not every time, so don't please don't hack my accounts, but um, I'll take a word that is a really good strong word, got a lot of uppercase and lowercase mixed in there. It's something a lot of people don't know or hear me say or have seen on my profile. I take that word. And then you know a lot of places make you change the password every like 30 days or 90 days or whatever, six months, and make you change the password and you change it and you forget it because you only have, most people have two or three passwords they use for everything. Well, what I do is, whatever that number is at the end or at the beginning, whatever that number is, every time I have to change the password, I just go up one number and then I just go up one number. And so each time it makes me change it, I just go up another number. So I know that if I type something in and the number is one at the end, I know the next time I do it, if I have to change it and then I don't come back for a few months and I'm like, ah, one's not working. Try two, same word, two, same word, three. And I work my way up that way. Just makes it an easier way. One of my principals when I first started teaching uh, taught me that trick and it's been pretty great. So don't do it all the time, but I do it for a couple accounts, so. Hope this helped, hope you learned something. If you could, please subscribe to this channel, I'd appreciate it. And like I always say, keep being the hero in your classroom. Never stop learning. Peace.
Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come training on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. Just gonna wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.